vlogmas and happy day 22. I'm Jules. I'm one half of the Nutty Nitty Sisters here with my sister Judith on YouTube where we like to share all of our love of anything fiber whether it's our projects, our occasional fiber adventures or anything related to fiber crafting. So Thank you very much for uh, checking us out. If this is your first time, thank you for clicking on the video and taking a look. I hope that you enjoy it. And if you're returning, thank you once again for coming back. We love having you here. Uh, it's been a very busy day. <laughs> I share a little clip there of um, what I was getting up to. I said a few, uh, few days past that I have five pillows that I'm making for Christmas presents and so I put a little clip in there of uh, working on one of those and yeah <laughs> I haven't done them in a while uh, I did used to do these quite often this way uh, they're made out of a shirt and I just have not done it for a while so it took me a little while to get back up to speed on doing it um, so the first one was slow going, but I am getting there. So I am a little packed in here, um, because my table now has a serger on it as well. So I have three sewing machines across my table here and it's all just set up so that I can get right to it now and, uh, finish off the, the pillows. So we have three advents that we've been opening and we are ready for day 22 of these advents. So I have my advent for my sister Judith. We made advents for each other. We started doing that last year, continued again this year, and this year she died my advent. So <laughs> it's quite a special advent. Um, I also have an advent from Legacy Fiber Arts. We're getting right down to the very end of things here. And we also have a, uh, sorry for the reach here. Like I said, I am packed in right now, finishing up gifts. Um, Judith and I went together on a Hogmanay box. And so this is what we have left of our Hogmanay box. We will open day 22. This one is a longer advent. That's why there are more packages. This one goes 31 days, where the other two go 25 and 24 days. So that one does go longer. So let's get right to it. Let's get to day 22 on Judith's advent. This is on the theme of the story Twas the Night Before Christmas. So we are quite a ways into the story now. Um, let's see what day 22, what continues with the story here. So this one says the stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. And the colorway is smoke. Okay, so let's see what our color is. Oh, it is definitely smoke. Look at that. I love how you get this little bit of darker here and there because that's just exactly the way smoke is. It's not just consistent. <laughs> that's great. Oh, I love it. What a wonderful neutral. Oh, that is beautiful. Uh, and this is on Nomad Yarns. Look at that great twist and how plump these are. I mean, this, I love this yarn. It's Nomad Yarn and it is um, their Marshmallow DK base. And it is, it's wonderful. I absolutely love this base. So great job, Judith. You captured smoke very, very well. <laughs> So that is going to add into our blanket just absolutely lovely as all the colors have. And then I had an extra for this day. This one was open day 22 after opening the box. So we've opened the box. Now we will open our little extra for after day 22. Oh, and here's another piece of the story. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Okay, all right, so let's see what we have in our bag. Oh, we have jelly beans, ha, ah, cute. His, his, um, <laughs> his little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly, jelly beans. Woo! 
Uh, I love, I love jelly beans too. I look like almost every single flavor of a jelly bean. There's only one I really do not care for. And that's black licorice. I do not like black licorice. <laughs> so whenever I get jelly beans, if there happen to be any black in there, I tuck them aside, I give them to my mom. She absolutely loves black licorice. So she will be joining us for Christmas dinner. And if there are any black ones in here, she will be welcome to them. So thank you so much, Judith. That's great. <laughs> it was a cool way to tie in his, his little belly full of jelly, <laughs> a bowl, like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> Very cute. All right. So there we have completed day 22 so we'll tuck that aside in here and gosh we have two <laughs> oh where's the time going we have two boxes left I cannot believe it I I don't know where December went it just it just flew did it fly for everybody else or just me <laughs> uh, all right so let's do day 22 of our legacy fiber arts. The theme for their advent is North Pole. And day 22, oh, I had it here. Where did I see it? There it is. It is uh, right here. It's a little teeny tiny one. It's called Snow Cone Shack. Hopefully you can see that. So Snow Cone Shack. Let's see what the interpretation is for Snow Cone Shack. Oh, oh, pretty. Look at that. It really, <laughs> it's so pastel and pretty. It really does remind me of snow cones. The pretty blue snow cones and pink ones, yellows and greens, all those pastels. Yeah, it definitely says snow cones. Very cool. I like it. <laughs> and their base is, I, I believe this is their steel toes, if I remember right, um, on their steel toes. And theirs is a, a I'm ca calling it a light fingering because when I hold it with the uh, fingering, I'm using a bare undyed fingering from Nomad yarn, their eggshell base. And when I hold it with that, this is definitely a lighter weight than that. And it is also lighter than, than most of my other fingerings I use. So I'm calling it on the side of a light fingering, but nonetheless, it is a nice, soft, squishy base. And I mean, those colorways, look at that. <laughs> so pretty. So this is really gonna be a nice blanket too. It's going to have some beautiful colors in it. All right, so that is our Legacy Fiber Arts. We have one more. We have our Hogmanay box, so we can see what we have in day 22. Uh, the Hogmanay box is, we uh, got this through Ann Frost with I Thought I Knew How podcast. She can be found pretty much everywhere as I Thought I Knew How on Instagram, um, you can find her here on YouTube. And if you listen to podcasts, you can also find her on like iTunes or whatever else you use to listen to podcasts as well. So let's dig right in. We have, these are from five Shatland yarn producers. And we have had Uradale yarns, six from Uradale yarns. We've had six from Eister U. We have had six from the Silly Sheet Fiber Company. And this should be number four from Jameson's. So here is Jameson's label. And this color is 1190 and it is called Burnt Umber. Exactly, <laughs> I would say that captured it perfectly. The thing I love about these, which you may or may not be able to see with this light, is that these colors are blends. There are several different colors blended in this to give it that color. 
And back here, that color is quite true right there. Um, there are colors in here like uh, there are greens, there are golden yellows. Um, of course, there's that orange brownish color. Uh, it's just, I think yarns that are, the color is derived in that blending of the dyed colors. It just gives such character for that color. It, it, it's just beautiful. And it, <laughs> to me, it's magic how they can come up with that color, how they can decide the percentages of these different colors to get this color. It's magic. <laughs> so these skeins in this advent are all 25 gram mini skeins, which is very generous mini skeins in an advent. Um, this is approximately 105 meters, which is about 115 yards. I didn't have to pop it on the screen. I remembered it this time. <laughs> if you watch past days, I always have to pop it on screen and I can't remember it. <laughs> um, and this is 100% Shetland wool, native Shetland wool. So another beautiful color to add. Um, we have quite a collection going here. I, I don't think I can hold them all out of the way so you can actually, I mean, we're getting a lot of yarns here. Let's see <laughs> what we can do. Let's see if I can hold some of the Jamesons down here so that you can get a peek at all of this because they're just beautiful colors. And these are all going to go together in a project at the end. So day 31 is a reveal of the pattern that these will all go together in a home accessories type project. Look at all those beautiful colors. Ah, oh. so yes, we're on day four of Jameson's. Um, so we should have two more days of Jameson's and then we should have another, our fifth yarn producer because Jameson's is our fourth yarn producer. So ought to be very interesting to see what comes in the next few days. Like I say, there's 31 in here, so we do have a ways to go with this. Um, once, once we get the Christmas advents, hopefully we'll have a little more time, Judith and I, to get together and try the StreamYard platform that I've talked about in past days, where we can record in split screen so that her and I can open. I'm hoping we can open these last few at least together um, as well as the last day pattern reveal package which also has some little Scotland goodies in it so we're gonna try to make that happen <laughs> so those are the three advents um, other than that today I mean, it's it's quite late it's actually <laughs> it's a quarter to midnight um, I did end up going back to Bangor tonight um, I picked up a few of the little things that I wanted to pick up for um, topping off some gift bags, but I probably will still need to go. To, <laughs> I still need to go pick up the final bits of groceries for Christmas dinner tomorrow anyway. So I will just pick up those last few bits of things that I need to top off the gift bags tomorrow as well. Um, as well as finishing off pillows. I do have tomorrow as well as um, Sunday to work on the pillows. So I, I'll be fine as far as getting the pillows done. But uh, yeah, it's just knowing that there's that, just that two days left, <laughs> just puts that anxiousness <laughs> on everything. Um, so that is it for day 22. Uh, like I said, if you've just this is the first video that you've watched. I truly hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed having you here. And if you did enjoy it, if you could please just give it a thumbs up, that would really help our channel. We would appreciate that. Of course, if you're returning, same thing. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel. Um, and if you have not subscribed yet, whether you're new or returning, if you haven't subscribed yet, we would really appreciate you subscribing and go ahead and click the little bell. That will ensure that you uh, get a notification whenever we do have new content for you. Um, if you are returning, of course, we love having you here and having you in our community. So thank you for coming again and again. We really appreciate it. Uh, and so I hope that you will uh, consider joining me for tomorrow, which will be our day whew, 
day 23. <laughs> and on that note, I wish you a very happy good night.